in 79 AD Mount Vesuvius blows its top in a catastrophically destructive eruption the Roman city of Pompeii and many of its citizens are obliterated so too is the neighboring city of Herculaneum where a massive library stacked with scrolls from the ancient world is carbonized by the intense heat and as a result of the volcano irreplaceable works of literature and philosophy are lost forever or are they before we answer that question let's go back to that day in August even after the passage of centuries we know plenty about what happened on that occasion and in that place that's because a Roman poet Pliny the younger witnessed events and wrote down what he saw and there had been a harbinger of things to come well before Vesuvius erupted as a major earthquake had caused extensive damage to areas around the mountain 17 years previously but smaller earth tremors were commonplace in the Bay of Naples where there were a series of them in late August of 79 AD then people didn't pay much attention that was a mistake an intense eruption then rumbled on for 48 hours still the effects weren't immediately evident indeed Pliny recorded that all seemed well during the morning of August 24th later in the day however a tower of black smoke emerged from the peak of Vesuvius and hot ash and rocks began to rain down on Pompeii and Herculaneum then came the deadly lava in liquid rivers that destroyed all in their path the eruption ultimately finished in the latter part of the afternoon on August 25th and once the molten lava had cooled Pompeii and Herculaneum lay under as much as 60 feet of volcanic rock centuries on Pompeii is now one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world much of the area has been excavated with some exquisite examples of Roman art being revealed in the process on a more gruesome note the remains of many of Pompeii's unfortunate residents have also been uncovered and these people's poses upon their death were later replicated through the use of plaster casts yet although Herculaneum was also comprehensively destroyed the former town is much less well known than its larger neighbor across the Bay of Naples Herculaneum was home to approximately 4,000 souls at the time of the eruption it had likely been originally founded by the Greeks over 400 years previously meanwhile one particularly lavish villa in Herculaneum is believed to have belonged to no less than Julius Caesar's father-in-law Lucius Calpurnius Piso Caesoninus Piso was a noted politician of the day as well as a very rich man and the sumptuous decor of his villa reflected his elevated position in Roman society indeed Piso's home was richly furnished with not only elaborate frescoes but also beautifully made bronze and marble statues of the very highest quality when the villa was first excavated in the mid 18th century however it wasn't these outstanding artworks that arguably received the most attention that's because there was also a library in Piso's dwelling far and away the most complete room of its kind from the classical world that's ever been discovered this particular area of the house was well stocked too containing as it did more than 1,800 rolled scrolls made from papyrus an early form of paper the scrolls themselves weren't in good condition upon their discovery however while the volcano may have preserved the papers it had also carbonized them making them impossible to unfurl and read in fact when the papyri were first uncovered in 1752 it was thought that they were lumps of coal and so many were burned or discarded then an artist Camille Paderni got his hands on the scrolls and made the first of what were to be several attempts at unrolling the carbonized lumps he decided to cut the scrolls down the middle and then brush away the papyrus in an effect to reveal different layers the Italians main achievement though was to ruin many of the priceless manuscripts not long after Paderni's disastrous venture a priest from the Vatican Antonio Piaggio came at the problem with a different approach 
he rigged up a contraption that gently pries the scrolls apart and while some pieces of text were uncovered the machine had a tendency to tear off thin strips of papyrus revealing little that was informative therefore in the 19th century a halt was called on these harebrained schemes to try and unravel the ancient scrolls it may have become clear that nothing of substance was being discovered and worse than that the scrolls were often being damaged beyond repair progress was eventually made in the 1980s however during that decade two academics Dirk Abink and Daniel Delatra devised a way to put the fragments of scrolls that had earlier been unrolled into their correct positions relative to one another then in the 1990s scientists at Brigham Young University trialed an imaging technique that used infrared light to increase the legibility of the damaged scrolls this process was also successful one man thought that he could do even better when it came to unraveling the secrets of the papyri however the University of Kentucky's Brent seals had a rather ambitious aim to read the scrolls without ever opening them and it seemed to him the way forward in that endeavor was to use x-ray technology in an April 2018 interview with CBS seals said people were going to the doctor every day and they were doing a CAT scan or an MRI and they were seeing inside their body completely non-invasively if you can do that to a human in the doctor's office why couldn't we see inside a scroll that was the thinking but the equipment that seals would need to achieve this was very far from the CAT scanner at your local hospital in fact the technology needed was some of the most advanced x-ray machinery there is and it's housed at diamond light source in Oxfordshire England ultimately then using the facilities available at diamond light source researchers would try to see into one of these enigmatic scrolls and when seals announced the results of the experiment in March of 2018 it appeared that it had been a success in fact the cutting-edge method of reading the priceless scrolls without destroying them had even revealed new information now though seals faces a task almost as challenging he has to persuade the keepers of the hundreds of remaining unopened scrolls to let him work on these jealously guarded and priceless artifacts check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel all you need to do is click on that red subscribe button thank you for watching